Hello everybody, Josh12 back here again with another video and I'm here to give you my official review for the newest Star Wars Force Awakens trailer. It just came out just a few minutes ago. I'll probably upload this the day later. It really depends on, you know, whatever the hell happens. But that being said, The Force Awakens Episode 7 third and final trailer came out and it is amazing. It's really freaking badass and awesome. It definitely does a lot of great things that I truly appreciate, which is obviously set off tone. This this trailer definitely set the tone of what the new Star Wars at least trilogy will be all about. And also the real cool thing is that we got some real story development as to what these characters are going for you know we have you know the new generation star wars characters like um like ray and finn and you have poe and kylo ren kind of having their story arcs kind of unfold in this trailer we get some form of understanding as to where they come into the whole play and you know it's just very very interesting stuff uh the other real cool thing is that we get to see Amazing visuals. I, I really have to commend on Abrams, JJ Abrams, to really put his own visual stamp on Star Wars because Star Wars has always been its own kind of thing when it, in the visual department of how it's been presented to us on the silver screen. But you can definitely see that he really put his own elements as to how everything comes together cinematically and what i mean by that is is like just the simple things of like the millennium falcon you know going into hyper you know how hyperspeed or hyperspace or whatever just flying around doing all this real crazy battles in space and whatever with all the other kind of uh, various spaceships and star fighters and you know x-wing fighters of the star wars universe it's completely just different for it's like re it's just redone and repackaged for like today's generation to get into star wars which I don't know how I completely feel about yet. I still feel like the older way of doing things is a little better, but the way it's presented, at least in this trailer, is very promising and really freaking awesome. The visuals is really the thing that stands out most to me at, at first, which is really freaking awesome. Uh, tone, definitely right up there. Story, development is really awesome. Characterization is freaking impressive. We uh, we have um, we get Ray's perspective in the beginning. We get to see like what she's all about. We get to see little BB-8 there. Uh, we get to see Finn and like he has some dialogue talking about things. And then there's like this really cool, like interesting uh, overall, you know, arc between their characters coming around to the older characters like Han Solo and Chewie and like they, they're talking about the Force and Jedis and how their adventures were true and like all these things that went down back in the day in the original trilogy and how things are going to go down in this new trilogy. It was badass. And Kylo Ren... Oh my god, that character is blowing shit up. He looks super wackadoo. I mean, I'm just saying, and I mean that in a good way, not in a completely disrespectful way. He is a wackadoo. He's going crazy. He's destroying shit. He's like freaking grabbing people using the force. I don't know how. I, I originally, from the limited thing, because I'm trying to keep the things I know about this movie limited, but from the limited things I know about this movie, I thought that Kylo Ren was specifically not really a Sith, if I'm not mistaken. I know he's a dark character, and I know he's one of the main antagonists, but if I'm not mistaken, he's not uh, specifically a Sith, you know, but I guess he has some kind of strengths within the Force, so I guess he can specifically use the Force to a certain extent, but I just thought that was kind of weird how there's a specific sequence where, uh, if you've not seen it, obviously he, like grabs someone who I think it was Poe, uh, played by Oscar Isaacs, a.k.a. Ivan Ooze, and he's, like, fucking crushing shit, and then, like, explosions happen, I don't know what the fuck, lots of real crazy stuff, there's explosions galore, shit is definitely going down, uh, lots of real crazy stuff, John Boyega's character, oh god, that last shot, when he has Luke Skywalker's freaking lightsaber and like Kylo Ren, I think he has like his mask off or something. You can't tell because it's from the back, but they have their lightsabers and they're about to duel and you know shit is going down. I fucking love that sh last shot. It was definitely a great way to end this trailer. Really awesome stuff. Everything else was really cool. It was nice to see Han Solo uh, have some dialogue. It was cool to see a glimpse of Princess Leia. Uh, it was cool to get some perspectives with um, and dialogue from 
uh, Ray's character uh, from the character of Ray and the character of Finn get some characterization out of them. Uh, I like the beginning of it. It definitely set the tone of what this universe, or at least the future of the Star Wars universe, is and and what it's going to be about. Kylo Ren, I liked his dialogue as well. I mean, like you can definitely tell that he's taking things to a whole nother fucking level from what the Empire and Darth Vader did in the original trilogy and all that kind of craziness. He's definitely kicking ass. Um, and Chewie, come on. It was awesome to see Chewie. He didn't really say or do anything. He's similar to Princess Leia, but it was just cool to see that, uh, see them there, uh, with the rest of, of you know, the Star Wars gang. Uh, once again, didn't get to see Luke. I was really hoping that we would see a glimpse of Luke somewhere, but unfortunately we didn't. Um, kind of similar to the poster. I know a lot of people bitched about the poster that was released from Star Wars, uh, Episode 7, Force Awakens, the official poster. A lot of people aren't fans of it. A lot of people are mixed. And uh, a lot of people are mad that Luke's not on it. I personally think that the way they're kind of going with it is that they want to keep Luke, his character, and what he's going to be doing in this particular movie and possibly for the rest remainder of the series is very secretive. They definitely want, don't want a lot of people to know what he could be a part of. Uh, I, my guess is, is that they're more than likely going to approach him the same way they did Obi-Wan in the original trilogy. That's just my guess as of now, because we don't really know anything about it. And I'm pretty sure if they just flat out said like, oh yeah, hey, Mark Hamill, he's going to die. And then like for the remainder of the rest of the movies and the solo movies, and God know what the fuck else Disney wants to do, he's just going to be a space ghost. So I don't know how people are going to jam with that, but um, yeah, that's just my guess as to why we haven't seen anything Luke related. But at the end of the day, this new trilogy is all about the new characters, so, you know, it's just, it's it's a good blend, which I have to give credit for this one trailer for doing, is that it's a good blend of the old characters meeting the new characters, them having their own vin uh, adventures cross, the crossfires of that, Kylo Ren's character, the dark side of the force, this new empire, shit's going down, Finn and Rey's character coming together, doing their thing, and then that last shot of freaking Kylo Ren with that freaking whatever the hell like saber that looks really badass i don't know how you can use it but whatever for suspension of disbelief fuck it up the door and then you have fucking finn with luke's freaking lightsaber allegedly and then ugh, almost shit goes down really nice stuff really fucking awesome epic nice stuff i can't wait to see tickets are already on sale december needs to come over already i love halloween but fuck it after seeing this trailer december now October, bye. That's all I really can say. Love this trailer. Really awesome stuff. Uh, if I haven't hopefully destroyed, uh, you know, spoiled it, everything, but this is a breakdown slash review for the Star Wars Episode 7 Force Awakens third and final trailer. So, of course, I had to get spoilerific and talk everything I really liked, but overall, this is an awesome trailer that still, like the rest of the trailers we've gone, doesn't show everything, but it does give us some interesting plot points as to what we can really expect and how these new characters are going to be, you know, integrated into the original Star Wars legacy. So, really awesome stuff to look forward to. I really cannot wait for this movie to come out. Uh, it's definitely the last movie I really want to see for this year, and then everything else can just die. I'm just going to just go into my time chamber for 2016 until I see Bami Superman. That's going to be the last. <laughs> That's it for me. But I'm pretty much I'm spent. I'm dead. Just let it go. But at the end of the day, final verdict for this trailer, hands down... Oh, God, I don't know, a 9, 9.5, and I, I hate to do the decimals, I fucking hate to do the decimals, but it's a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I don't give it a 10 is because I wish it was a little longer, number one. Number two, I wish there was some more stuff with Han and the rest of the gang. It would have been nice to have Princess Leia say something, and once again, the Luke thing, kind of, like, amongst everyone else, kind of pissed me off. And also, this trailer is, like, and I know it's kind of nitpicky, which I want people to, you know, keep in mind. It's a nitpicky thing, so it's not a really big deal. I still love this trailer, but it also kind of felt like the poster, where it was just... It has too much going on. There's way too many story arcs, way too many things, way too many people, too many visuals, and just, there's just way too much overflow for just one little mind, and that's mine. Way too much for my little mind to fucking view. You know, it's just overload. Just too much. Um, 
In the great scheme of things, probably not going to be that big of a deal. The movie is probably still going to be a fucking hit. It's going to be amazing. It's the reintroduction to Star Wars, excluding anything else prior, which I don't want to get into. But, um, yeah, those are the only things that I really had a problem with, is that, A, we didn't get to see that much from the original gang. It would have been nice to see Luke. Uh, and it would have nice to, uh, it would have been nice to see you know Leia say something, and um, also it would have been cool if they were a little bit more simplistic with the trailer instead of showing so much shit. It was kind of just like the poster. It's just way too much going on. But at the end of the day, still an epic, awesome, great trailer. There's a little to no faults. Really great stuff. Um, I loved it. it. With these Star Wars Force Awakens trailer. Uh, trailers. It's it's kind of like the Batman Superman Dawn of Justice trailers. It's just it gets better and better every single trailer we get. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot will differ from my simplistic uh, subjective opinion, but let me know what you personally think in the comments section below. What did you think about the newest Star Wars Force Awakens trailer? What are your personal thoughts on it? Uh, what are your personal thoughts on the poster, the lack of Luke Skywalker, and what are your personal expectations going onward uh, for the Force Awakens will be released in December, I uh, God, uh, December 18, 25th, oh man. I need to see this movie already. I All of us, we need to see this movie already. But let me know your personal thoughts on it in the comments section below. I loved it, but let me know what you personally think. That being said, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Charge12. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and I hope you all have enjoyed. And this has been John 12 May the Force be with you.